And very important uh, from environment part of view is the pollution. India has some of the world's most polluted cities. According to WHO, 14 out of 15 world's most polluted cities are in India based on particular emission measurement. IIT Kaspur and Delhi have done a study to identify various sources who are contributing to this emit, uh, these uh, emissions of particulates. And it has concluded that the more 25% of contribution of PM25, 2.5, is attributable to total So we have implemented the equivalent of Euro 6 emission norms in India to really Get the best impact of this. We have to face out the old vehicles which are still being used in India to get the best impact of the Euro 6 uh, The fourth and the most important is the road accidents. Every year we are losing about 1.5 lakh people in road accidents, which is equivalent to one day crash every day on through the year. And the WHO has identified five pillars for reducing the accidents and fatalities. Though it has significant Improvement in all these pillars. Still, there is no visible increase in accidents and fatalities in India. So, with all these negative impacts of motorization, we have to look for or end up with exhausting the resources and what is said is that we have borrowed the environment from our next generation and it is our responsibility to hand over the environment in safe condition to our next generation which would mean that we have to be careful on using the resources optimally we have to like the environment in terms of pollution we are facing. This basically shows what all options are made for achieving sustainable mobility. And by improving the mode what we are using. The avoid is to reduce or not end up with movement of data. We can do a lot of things without moving, without actually going to the but which would also
with increased stringency emission, safety norms, vehicle will be equipped with intelligent sensors, actuators, and multiple electronic controls. Also, <coughs> customer aspirations are changing, and connected technologies expanding increase in electronic sensors. So, whatever code of basic efficiency of the technology to reduce the urban footprint of the So, these are the green technologies what the industry and the government are working on. Uh, we have conventional taxi vehicles, both gasoline and diesel vehicles. They also help providing low cost transportation in rural areas. In addition, the biogas plant in addition to the gas generation will also give huge mass of liquid organic window which can be used by the farmers for their agriculture. Some business case needs to go down to make it uh, more attractive for various people setting up uh, biogas plants. And also the other advantage of biogas generation is when you are using the dairy waste for generation of gas, you are also avoiding uh, release of methane gas into the atmosphere. Because the powder or uh, the dairy waste is left to atmosphere, releases methane, which is very, very hazardous to ozone layer and it's almost uh, 20 times more, uh, more uh, uh, Effects more dangerous for ozone and the CO2 footprint of methane is very, very high. So, major issue is the size of battery is very high and as a result, the cost of electric vehicles is very high. In case of hybrids, you have both the power trains, IC power train, and also you are generating power in power thermal stations and you are actually emitting air. So, he is shifting the uh, point of emission from roadside to the thermal plant, which is outside the city. And last but not the least thing is hydrogen as a fuel. This is still in very nascent uh, state because people are still working how to generate green hydrogen <coughs> and also how to use hydrogen efficiently store efficiently, transport efficiently because hydrogen as all of you know is very corrosive and it's very difficult to store hydrogen and also tra transport hydrogen. But also in addition, generation of green hydrogen itself still not stabilized. Still people are working on various uh, options for generating hydrogen. Unless that hydrogen is also generated from green sources. Otherwise, we will end up with the same uh, arguments like what is happening with the electric vehicle. Whether they are really not polluting or they are only shifting the pollution from the roadside to the thermal stream. This basically shows the schematic of the electric vehicle where you need a charging station, then you have a battery, you have a motor. Or motor controller, battery management system, and also vehicle control to operate the electric vehicle efficiently so that you get best out of the battery power what we have. And this gives various aggregates what we have on the electric vehicle. Which are, uh, I mean, some of the major aggregates like battery, etc. still being imported and a lot of manufacturers are uh, setting up facilities based on with the government health PLI scheme to manufacture cells locally like, like uh, Tata Motors, Mahindra, Apollo, uh, 
there are a lot of uh, including uh, the Mali's are trying to set up uh, facilities for making uh, lithium ion cells. And once the cells are made locally, that the SM, already there are people who are assembling uh, cells to make uh, that is, <coughs> And also, battery management system, which is very, very crucial for uh, efficient operation of the battery. There are a lot of startups who are developing the management system. And uh, I'm sure it, it could be, it can be done perfected to meet the requirements of the user, that is the way it is at any point of time. Uh, so, right now, most of the electric vehicles which are being made are the supported uh, cells, and a uh, lot of components are also supported. And maybe next four or five years, most of these things will be localized. And the government hopes that with localization, the cost of that pH will come down to make the electric vehicles more affordable. When you compare IC vehicles with electric vehicles. The advantage of electric vehicles is that there is no pollution. Then the operating cost of electric vehicles is extremely low because the charging cost for a uh, electric vehicle is very, very low compared to the fuel cost which you need to spend for refueling the vehicle. But on the other side, flip side, the cost of electric vehicles is extremely high compared to the IC <laughs> And uh, also there is a lot of criticism that with electric vehicle adoption, adoption the uh, current IC vehicle manufacturers, not vehicle manufacturers, but component manufacturers who are making components which are only required for IC vehicles will maybe go out of business. <coughs> This shows various situations what we are implemented in India and one of the ways of forcing the, the auto industry to adopt the vehicles are more efficient uh, technology for their vehicles to uh, make the standards more stringent. We have what is called corporate average fuel consumption campaign. We have we have implemented company stage two in uh, two and uh, 2027. Uh, sorry, phase three is likely to be implemented in 2027. So when the limits of CO2 emission from a particular corporate, it means that weighted average of all models what a particular manufacturer makes has to be less than a particular number. So, for OEMs to achieve that, they have to adopt either strong hybrids or electric vehicles to meet those requirements. Because OEMs making electric vehicles also get some uh, uh, one EV is counted as three vehicles equal to IC. Also, it clearly shows that all technologies are not appropriate for all segments of vehicles. So, different segments require different types of equipment, and uh, we have to select proper, uh, correctly what technology suits which segment and what usage. <coughs> if I go back, then the electric Mobility initiative was announced by the government. They said all vehicles have to be electric by 2030. This was September 2016 when the Niti Aayog mentioned this. And that's where the problem started. Because by any stretch of imagination, in 2016, nobody had any electric vehicle, nor 
degree of the concrete required for electrical cause made in India. In such a situation, to totally secure electric vehicles was very difficult. But also, the difficulty of adopting electric support range for different segments like two wheeler, three wheeler, personal passenger cars or taxis, the buses, the commercial vehicles, etc., is different. Now, as you see, in case of two wheelers, a lot of uh, traction for adopting electric uh, power base and a lot of uh, models are in the market and we hope to reach at least 30 percent by 2030. Similarly, in case of three wheelers, it's picking up much faster and uh, very soon I think it will be 100 percent electric three wheelers it will be on the road. In case of passenger cars, because of uh, the customer requirements, it's very, very difficult to make economically viable as the car is electric. As a result, the manufacturers are not willing to switch to electric vehicles because they are scared that the customers will not be able to afford that product and they will not be able to sell the vehicles. And in case of buses, Based on some particular business model where the manufacturers are offering electric buses as a service in cities like Delhi, Pune, etc., they are successfully being operated. And we need to see how it better translates into mass adoption. And in case of heavy duty vehicles, I personally feel the electric mobility is not the right answer because for the road. Size of the battery would be very, very big and uh, it will eat into the basic payload capacity of the uh, I don't know how many of you are aware of what is uh, Terry. Terry is uh, the Energy and Resource Institute. It's a sustainable uh, transport vision. We are working on for adoption of electric vehicles and also identify which technology vehicles are more appropriate for different uh, uh, segments and different applications. I very strongly believe that no two sectors will accept the same solution. Every sector needs a specific solution tailor-made for that application. So, the OEMs also have to change their strategy to be more flexible in offering products which are suitable for specific requirements. Postal services to identify how they can upgrade uh, their uh, transport requirements to zero emission vehicles. So, we are doing this study and soon they would be implementing the recommended process. We, Terry also does all to speed. We normally talk in terms of what is the vision from fuel tank to B. But the bottom line is that the IC vehicles and electric vehicles will continue to coexist for a long time and maybe towards the bigger portion of the vehicles will be electric. In that, I see vehicles will continue the need for reducing CO2 emissions from our port. So, but there is no need for any accelerated manufacturing time to change their business from what they are doing now for isolation to what they do for an Okay, any business will have these challenges and the auto industry is no exception. But it's not sudden, not sudden as possible to realize that it will be a long process and I mean unless some real uh, uh, change happens in the battery cell and by or battery cause or Thank you.
So that's what I wanted to talk about uh, the sustainability for your own health. We always feel that when you are in the college, it's a punishment. You all feel that you are being forced to do community which you are right on. And uh, there is no limit to what you can learn. We are all very lucky that we have access to internet, where any information you want, we can get in quick of by button. So, it is for you to... Because this is a day where you will be allowed to learn. Once you get a job or doing something, you have no time to uh, experiment or learn. You are supposed to exit. So this is the time which you should use to totally learn and maximize your learning. This is the biggest problem in India. Turn the down and carry the down. So, Whenever you have a doubt, you should get clarification done. Unfortunately, in India, we are taught not to question elder and not question too many times. But but if you have a query, you should get it done as and when the thing I And this is the another problem which we are uh, most of the people going to school and college can talk the class. But if you are not talking then don't be scared of trying new things for fear of it. You should try fast and get even if you pay, you should get solution in place for to be very particular. We actually know all of the heard this many times. Change is the only concept technology, whatever is happening in our As you change, you will not be able to survive in the world. Like in my 30 years or 30 plus years of simple while <coughs> waiting has gone through so many changes. When I joined for we used to make on the drawing board with the pencil and cheese pad. From there we went to the baking uh, with the uh, water can, etc. Then we are totally on to digital uh, design now. And, uh, <laughs> so things are very different and making pits also we used to use a group, I, mean, I don't know how many of you have heard this ammonia print from there to zero, from there to direct printing on the computer. From zero printing or digital printing, etc. The technology changes, you have to adopt that technology to change with the time. Otherwise you will be what should I say? You will be static and you will be <laughs> or uh, taken by others. <laughs> my Japanese colleagues used to always tell us in India, if they ask anybody, will you do this? They will not answer yes I am. Try. Try has no meaning unless you actually do it. So, if somebody is asking to do something, don't tell him you will try. You should. Also, also, you should be You can always buy the way you are What you are doing should help you in thinking that you should not uh, spend time. But, you should know how much time you are doing what. And at the end of the day, we have to have significant time for self-development. Self-development is very, very important. 
which includes how we are keeping your body. This is one of my very favorite things. Learn. Life is a cycle of learning and learning and relearning. So, as we have seen, probably changes happening. There are many facts. We have to learn what we have to learn. We have to learn what we have to learn. So, it's not that something said will be right for it. In time, there is a possibility that this will change and we have to relearn something and unlearn something. The intelligence is in going and to unlearn and to unlearn. That is the time. So, this is my end of presentation. I would like all of you to Say that you keep smiling and be positive. And uh, wherever you are going to go, okay, even in college, it is you who will create the atmosphere of what you will do. If you want the atmosphere to be done, it will become done. If you want it to be lively, it will be lively. market in the store where they make simple act of selling. So in any option it is for you to decide what should be the atmosphere you are working or you are studying whatever. So please apply your hand and make your presence felt and also try to enjoy what you are doing. That is most important. Unless you feel you are enjoying what you are doing, you will not do the best. So it's very important that you improve the efficiency of what you are doing and what you are getting. Thank you, sir.